Hi everyone, I'm Ashley Riddell and welcome to another Tutorial Bucket Tutorial. This tutorial is going to look at creating a duotone colour effect. This is basically a monotone effect. Uh, it looks a lot like this. As you can see, the whites have been replaced with a green-yellow and the darkest areas of the image have been replaced by a dark green and there's a gradual change from green to the yellow across all of the luminosity tones. Now to create this effect, there are as always, many different ways of doing it, including a specialised tool in Photoshop which is called Duotone. Now the Duotone tool that's in Photoshop requires you to change modes. So you can't do this as an RGB image, it has to be a grayscale image, then you have to change the Duotone, blah 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 blah. Boring. What we want to do is how do we get this effect without having to switch over to the grayscale Duotone mode. So, easy way of doing this. I'll just turn this off. And I'm going to add in from my Layers palette, from the Adjustment Layers button, I'm going to add in a thing called a Gradient Map. A Gradient Map. Now when you put in a gradient map, what this literally does is it takes a gradient, normally black to white, where it will map the darkest pixel to match the darkest colour in the gradient and map the lightest pixel to the lightest colour in the gradient. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to change it from this black and white to different colours. So I'll just click on the drop down here and I'll choose an existing one just for the fun of it so you can see the effect. And as you can see, it's changed all of the dark shades, the blacks, to a very intense green and moves it up to white. So what do we do if we want to create our own? Well, I've taken this existing one. I'll just change it. You go up to the gradient bar, which is on the gradient map interface. Click one time and it'll bring open the gradient editor. If you have seen this before in other parts of Photoshop, it's the same tool and it's used in the same way. So, we decide on our dark colour point. I'm not going to use this intense light green. I'm just going to double click and I'm going to drag down the intensity of that green so it's a darker tone. And as you can see, it remaps the darker shade to that very dark green. I'm happy with that, so I'll say OK. Just drag that over so you can see. OK. And I'll now go to the lightest pixel in this, and this is where it'll start to get different. If I take another colour, yes, we get that lovely duotone effect. I'll just choose something a little bit more greeny yellow, and you then choose the luminosity intensity that you want to get for this particular duotone effect. I'm pretty happy with that colour, but you can fill around with this yourself. There's many different effects. You can use this to create some very subtle sepia type effects if you head down to the light end of the spectrum. But I'm just going to put this back to this very intense green and yellow. Say OK. All right. Now, fine adjustments. You can add in even more colour stops if you want to. You can make this go not just from dark green to light green. You could have it go to different colour shades. And just as an example, I'll just drop in a new one, which also serves to lighten it. And I'll just bring up a, a yellow. And I'll just adjust that. Maybe reposition it a bit so you can see it a bit more clearly. Yeah, and now you can start to see how it maps by saying OK from a dark green to a flesh tone to a light green and it remaps the intensities of luminosities on the image itself. So this is a really a very neat little tool and you can do a lot of things with it. If you don't like it, just drag and rip off the ones you don't want. If you want to change the balance of lighting, like a gamma in levels, click on the dark point for colour and you'll find this little thing appears. This you can use to control the gradient itself so that by dragging that over you make more of the lighter colours dominate the image than the darker colours. In this way it acts a little bit like a gamma control in levels. So I'll just drag that over here and I'll say that will do. I'm happy with that and say OK. Yep, and that looks fine. Final finishing touches. If you want to make this look a little bit more flat, go in between your existing gradient map adjustment layer and your image and throw in a new adjustment layer. Put in a levels or a curves layer. I'm going to use curves because I want to really fine control this. And push up. In this case, I'm going to push up the light tone. So I'm going to get rid of a lot of these 
subtle shadows on the face, but I'll make the image itself look a lot uh, stronger. It's a lot more graphic looking when you do it like this. Let's push that up there. Maybe just squeeze that down a little bit there and squeeze that a little bit there. And I'll say, yep, I think I can live with this. That will do me nicely. So there it is. Here is before and here is after with our brand new duo tone using a gradient map.